All right, what's going on guys? It's about Rico here and today we're gonna to be talking about Apex Legends uh, I have some gameplay that's gonna be displayed on the screen of a, a match we won at the end um, It wasn't my most action-packed match because I just wasn't getting the action that uh, Required me to get kills My teammates were just beating me to the kills and I'm just like god damn can I get some action? And then when I did get some action, I got fucking smacked because I started, I've, I've been using Wraith because I needed a more aggressive character. So I used my alt, the portal or whatever. And for some reason I was getting shot, shot through my alt. Uh, and I don't know if they can see you when you use your alt to set up a portal and go through it, but I was getting fucked up before I even got there. So I got knocked, you know, off of a basically experimental play because usually i use a wraith to flank people I, I love her she's a great character anyways uh let's talk about apex legends oh by the way yeah like i said i didn't get that much kills i got like two two kills game winning kill and then another i got a knock at one point but my teammates were fucking going off and i couldn't keep up with them but it is what it is i got plenty more videos to upload so with that being said, let's talk about Apex Legends. Uh, as you can see by the title of the video, I think that Apex Legends by far and away is the best BR made. Um, I played them all pretty much. I played PUBG, which was my first BR. I didn't play H1Z1. I wasn't around PC at that point when it was popular. I played a few rounds of it. I, I own H1Z1. But yeah, I really didn't play it, play it. Uh, so, I played PUBG, obviously. Uh, I played a lot of PUBG. Liked it because it was my first Battle Royale, but looking back on it, it wasn't that good. It was actually trash. I won't say it's trash. It's just poorly optimized with terrible mechanics, and it's really, really clunky. And slow. The action is slow. If you're lucky, you may get in, you know, two or three gunfights a match for a total of four kills. But it's really hard to find people. Everybody's camping, laying in the grass, hugging a tree. They're not being aggressive like they should be. Alright, so move on to Fortnite. I completely hate Fortnite. I think it's fucking... That's trash. Now that's a trash game. Building, really. That's what we're doing. We get shot at, we build. Can't stand it. Fucking awful. The worst BR out of them all. I don't care if it's the most popular one. I don't care if they had... Bunch of concurrent, concurrent players. I don't give a fuck about none of that. This shit is trash. Hated that game. So, we move on to Call of Duty's BR, uh, which is the next in line. Um, it was okay. I liked it. Wasn't amazing. It just felt like Call of Duty with BR. No, I mean, and that's what you expect it to feel like. But, you know, I've been playing Call of Duty for 10 10 or 11 years straight and I'm just burnt out on Call of Duty now if I hadn't played the last 10 years and just played you know maybe the last two or three Call of Duties I maybe I'd be fucking all over that shit hyped wanting to play it all night but I didn't want to I didn't care for it that much um I didn't even buy the latest Call of Duty actually somebody bought it for me so uh, I mean I'm just disillusioned with Call of Duty to be honest I don't really want to play it that much if I do play Call of Duty, it'll be like the older Call of Duties. Uh, there's still players on the older Call of Duties that go in there and play some Team Deathmatch if I have to play some, team, like some Call of Duty to get that, you know, to scratch that itch of Call of Duty. Which, you know, Call of Duty uh, is a special game. I spent a lot of hours on that shit. Um, but it's just a different era. I don't want to play that anymore. You know, it's over. It's over. I'm sure I'll probably somehow get the next Call of Duty, but as far as me playing it religiously like I did when I was younger, it's over. I won't do that. I'll play a few rounds and that's it. Uh, but like I said, the BR was alright. But this right here, Apex Legends, when it came out, when it was announced, it was like... It was, they did something that I thought that a game should have done for a long, long time. I talked about this with my cousin, Zine. Uh, we were talking about... You know, we were talking about something and I was like, dude, you know what would be fucking cold is like when they release albums, surprise albums, uh, you know, out of nowhere, just slaps you in the face with a hot brand new album. All you gotta do is go online and download it. Um, what if they did that with a game? 
what would like how would that play out i think it could be done and if it was done it caught people off guard people would download it you would have to make sure the shit works they want it, the connection's good but what would happen if they did that uh and we found out because i don't need i didn't even see this game get announced i just saw uh people talking about it and then i saw like a commercial or something when i clicked the video it is basically said on that day that it came out it's basically when uh you know you just watch the, the trailer or whatever and then all the go all of a sudden it goes out now i'm like whoa what already what's going on here so of course i go download it it's free free to play why not free 99 you can't hate on that let's test this game out let's see what's going on uh, i played a few solo games with two other randoms and i was like oh okay okay this could be something here we we might have something here because I, the first thing I noticed was the the uh, speed and violence and momentum, as the doc would say, of this game. The the it's not built for it's not it's the anti PUBG in a sense because they want you to run around, they want you to get in the action, they want you to fight, uh, and that's what I want to do. I don't want to I want I don't want to get two kills and win. I want to get ten kills and win. I want to fucking murder everybody in the lobby, impose my will, and win the match. And I want to just camp for, you know, loot and then camp for the last uh, fucking 15 minutes of the match to try to get a win. That's just, that's trash. Trash. I think that the number one thing that helped this game and all other multiplayer games, not just BR, but all other games uh, in the industry, they need to buy more server space than what they think they need because you never know how good your game's gonna be. I launched this game on day one and got into a match, no problems. Wasn't lagging, just launched it, started killing people. Okay, you have two, 48 hours for the lifespan of your game to get your shit together because there's so many games out here, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get on that hustle. All right, or people will just say, fuck this, go on to the next game. And you know, cute, kudos to Respawn Entertainment because day one, that shit was working. No problems at all. So good job on them. And that's what propelled this game was the fact that it was just out, released out of nowhere. And then, you know, big streamers were obviously playing it. And then on top of that, anybody could just download it and get into the action. There was no problems. So. That was great. That was great execution on their launch. Uh, they, might, they had to have been planning that shit for weeks, quietly plotting, low key, uh, the launch of this game and making sure everything they cro they crossed their T's and dotted their eyes. Now, there's a few things I don't like about this game. Um, also, another thing is I think was a genius move for them was the was the map design. The fact that they had all these big canyons and shit like that, and then the, the map kind of flows into these alleyways to where you're not running across an open, and then there's changes in the elevation, by the way. So you're not running across open areas and getting shot all the time. The changes in elevation and these big canyons that you can't get on top of and you can't go over, unless you're going over it on a balloon glide or whatever, uh, you, you, uh, it, it's just designed a certain way to where the map kind of flows like a Call of Duty map in a sense in these bigger areas or a battlefield map in these bigger areas because you're not getting shot from 40, 50, 60 meters away by some fruitcake camping with a car 98 on a hill like PUBG. So anyways, back to the things I don't like about this game. The wingman. Either they need to nerf the wingman, uh, which I don't think they need to do. I think they need to buff all the other guns to be as good as the wingman because the wingman is ridiculous, especially in the hands of people who are somebody who's moderately good at this game. If you're moderately good at this game, you will fuck people up with the wingman. Uh, the only reason why I don't use the wingman is just because I, I, I would rather just use a light machine gun. It's funner for me. It's, it's about fun factor. I could use the wingman and be a fruitcake, but I just don't want to because it's just, it looks like once you get good, it looks way too easy to just knock people with three bullets. Like it's just, it's not impressive. Uh, I try to try to mix it up using a, use a light machine gun and then sometimes use an assault rifle or maybe use a DMR or something like that but I don't want to just run around with the wingman like I just 
And you know what the biggest thing, the re biggest reason why I can't stand that shit is because it it was the same thing in Destiny, the hand cannons. I'm so I, like it's just so ridiculous that a pistol can do all that damage, but I'm running around with a light machine gun, and I know we're talking about video games here. Or I'm running around with a sniper rifle, and it's weaker than a pistol. Stop it. I know we're talking about video games here, but y y knock it off. Alright, so I'm anti-nerf of weapons for the most part. So I think the best move for them was is to slightly buff every other weapon. To make it on par with the wingman. And make every other gun just as viable. But it's not too much of a problem. It's only a problem if you run into a squad of them fools running around with the wingman. Then you're just fucking, you're gonna get bodied so fast. You're literally just gonna get fucking smacked and there's nothing you can do about it. But I mean, that's what it is when you run into a squad. And anyways, if you had, a, if you all had three regular pistols, you'd, you'd still probably get fucked up uh, if they're all shooting at you and hitting their shots. So uh, that's the only thing I don't like, the wingman. It aggravates me. It's just annoying. It's, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's, it, it pesters me. More than it really just aggravates me. It's just, I don't know, it's whatever. But that's the only thing I don't like. Everything else, I like this game. Uh, at first, I felt like the momentum was a little bit too slow. I felt, I think in a hot fix, they might have fixed it. It feels like they did. Or maybe I just got used to it, one or the other. Either way, it doesn't matter. I like pretty much everything about this game. Uh, I, you know, we were talking about me and my three friends in this game, actually. Not during this match, but at one point during the night, we were talking about uh, armor and saying how, you know, I wish we didn't have armor at all and we just had to basically um, heal yourself. Uh, armor is frustrating, especially when you have level one armor and you run into level three armor, guys. Uh, you're probably going to get shit on. You might be able to get, might be able to win it if you're good. If you're real good and you hit all your shots, you might be able to win that gunfight three on three. You might be able to win that. Uh, but other than that, that's just a small thing. I don't really, the, the armor shit doesn't really bother me at all. Um, because, you know, if when you're on the other end of the spectrum and you have level 3 armor, uh, and they have level 1 armor, it feels so good to just fuck them up. They can't do anything about it. Ah, oh, so good. But yeah, man, anyways, I, I think this is by far the best BR. Look at the loot system. Look how easy the loot system is. Look how fast I'm able to get a out of there. I'm grabbing, grabbing a battery real quick. Like, look, look how swift it is. Everything about this game uh, is so ease of use. It's not like it's casual. Like, I hate when people use, throw the term around. Oh, the game's casual. Oh, it's casual. Good mechanics don't make a fucking game casual. Knock it the fuck off. All right? Being able to loot in two seconds, that's not casual. Go look at the loot system on Call of Duty confusing as fuck go look at the suit loot system on PUBG. not too bad but still confusing and then fortnite i don't even know what the fuck's going on with fortnite you gotta press eight to heal like you like it's just it's all over the place uh i i but that's just my personal preference with fortnite i can't stand fortnite to begin with but uh anyways that's pretty much it i those are pretty much my reasons why i like apex legends and think it's by far the best BR out in the streets. By the way, I just saw a commercial where they put a new gun in called like the the, the Havoc. I think that's what it's called. An, another energy light machine gun. Let's fucking get it. Just right up my alley. Super hyped about that. Uh, gonna be hopping on later and continuing to stack bodies and wins. So with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think about Apex Legends in the comment section. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, twitter.com slash Valrico, youtube.com slash Valrico, and I'm out of this bitch. Peace.